I'm talking to Julie Bestry of Best Results Organizing about paperwork. And I want to hear about Tickler file, because this is how you find the paper once you've started taking action, I think. But there's some controversy sometimes about Tickler files and their usefulness. So let me have Julie explain her approach to Tickler files and then challenge well, her a bit. I love to be challenged. So for people <laughs> who don't know what a Tickler file is, it's at, at its most basic conceptually, it's a parking place for you to put your action paperwork so that you will take action on it. Because again, I said, if you just have it piled up like sedimentary rock-like levels, you are not going to be able to find what you need when you need it to trigger you to do something on time. Tickler file at, at its, at its uh, most basic is 31 slots, one for each day of, of the month at, at at most, and then 12 more slots for, for each month of the year. So for you could have uh, a DIY version, 43 folders in a desktop file box. I like the portable kind, which mm -hmm. has a tab for, for each day of the month and each month of the year. And it's an accordion file, so you can make it about as tall as a toddler if you, if you have a lot of paperwork. <laughs> If you have that much action paperwork, you probably need a virtual assistant or a secretary or an assistant. Um, but the notion is that each item, each piece of paper that triggers something, whether it is a document, a note to yourself, um, any piece of paper, you need to stop and think, when am I going to need this document presented to me? Think of it like Jeeves of the butler coming in with a silver tray and saying, Madam, Here's today's sir. And box. Exactly. <laughs> and kind of, kind of like if you the watch the crowd, box. how the queen gets, gets, yeah. gets those little red briefcases. Yeah. And so the, <laughs> the tickler file um, has a slot for each day. If you have taken the piece of paper, here's your framework discussion. Mm -hmm. Okay. You get the piece of paper. You say, how and when am I going to need to use this? Okay. I need to pay this bill by this date, so I'm going to count backwards, one, two, three, four, five, and I'm gonna pay it on this date, and you put it in that slot. By mm -hmm. doing all of this, you have streamlined, you love the word streamlined, because it's a streamlined connection. I do. So, so it's orderly. There's no mm -hmm. fear of losing your your paper in a, in a pile because you have put it somewhere. It's easy, it's low tech, mm -hmm. because all you have to do is, okay, when am I going to use this? Pick a date there. Um, it, I call it a self-cleaning system, like a self-cleaning oven, because if you open up today's slot, anything you don't get done from today's slot, you move forward to the next appropriate. It might not go to tomorrow if you have notes about a conversation you want to have uh, with your therapist, okay? Mm -hmm. It's like, if the appointment gets canceled because of COVID or whatever, and right. your appointment's going to be moved forward two weeks, then you're going to move that paperwork forward two weeks. So it's got that sort of self-cleaning oven effect. And right. you can use it for both one-time specific tasks and also recurring tasks. So for right. example, if you've got a procedure that you need to follow to do expense reports, you can write down a list of what you have to do, put that in, let's say the that you're going to do the expense reports on the 15th of the month, that can live in the 15th slot permanently. And so it's always there for recurring things. So right. that's that's sort of like the overview of, of a right. ticket file. So here's where it goes awry for me. And I have a feeling we could have an entire conversation about just tickler files and these issues because – you're smart enough to know there's also brain issues that come up with this. And that was my problem with um, tickler files. I have a bit of ADHD and I suffer from depression. And I would have a day where I didn't feel like working on something. And so all that stuff in that day's tickler would be ignored. And then sometimes that would go on for a couple days. And then I would feel overwhelmed when I came back because I had so much to do. Or something would be changed in the middle, like the, the doctor's appointment is one thing because you knew what day that was, but some things you put in there because you planned to do it on Friday and then you didn't feel great on Friday. And so then on Monday it happens or Tuesday or like it would get all mixed up on the stuff that I didn't know what day it had to happen. 
I would get too loosey goosey or I would get too um, ambitious and think I could do all these things in one day and then I would get overwhelmed. And so I had I do a modified one where I have a waiting for. So it's anything that has a specific date scheduled, but everything else is is by category just because I wouldn't be able to find the paper. Like if someone else was changing the dates on me all the time, it'd be like, I don't know where it went. Um, and or I would get overwhelmed by how much was moving forward every single day. Do you have any suggestions for that? Well, I like to talk about the fact that when you have a system, you also need a strategy. Okay. Right. Because system, oh, systems yes. have systems have two parts. The uh, location, perfect, perfect example. I like to use the the ice cream rule. When you come into the house with your groceries and you have a bag with a container of ice cream and a bag with um, with rolls of toilet paper, okay, the physical location you 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 know that the ice cream is going to the freezer, okay, right. but you have a behavioral system implanted in you that you know that the ice cream has to be put away first, okay. Yes. You know, the bag with the toilet paper in, you can put down, you can like, it, you can kick it down the hall all the way until it makes it, to, but the ice cream has to get put away. With your, um, with your paperwork, it's the same thing. You have the physical location where it goes, but you need to have some behavioral strategies. So mm -hmm. the first part is we usually tie uh, going through the tickler file to at least make sure that you're getting into it to something else that is a behavior that clients have. So I um, I have clients who do um, Bible study or devotionals in the morning. Mm -hmm. So that's something that they tie together. The Bible is literally on top of their, their tickler file, which is like their business Bible. I have a client who, um, who keeps her tickler file by her medicine so that in the morning, that's part of her thing that she gets up and she looks at it at, at, at her tickler file and she takes her medicine and she starts starts her day. So part of it is having these little strategies. You might have accountability, call your best friend and say, okay, I'm going through my tickler file. What are you doing today? This is what I'm doing today. And then mm -hmm. the moving the things forward is again, a strategy of thinking, okay, not throwing everything forward to a specific date, but thinking about, okay, where do I want to move this forward to Friday afternoon to plan next week? 